Hey guys, Shea Bear here. Today we're going to check out this Poland chainsaw that I bought at a flea market here a while back. Let's see if we can get it running. Okay guys, we've got an old Poland saw here. It's kind of dirty. Uh, I already took some screws out of it because it didn't have spark. Right. And I'll show you why it didn't have spark. There's no coil on it. There should be a coil right here. Someone has taken the coil off. It's pretty nasty. We're going to blow it out and everything before we get too much into it. Also, someone has had this chain way too tight. That is way too tight. See that or there's another problem, but that's too tight. You can't hardly, you know. But we'll get into that and we'll check it out. We may go ahead and pull this chain off. Uh, while we work on it so I'm going to take this now what I've got whoops sorry I've got I don't have an extra coil but I have the coil on this Black Hawk this does run but I pulled the spark plug out of it to put in a blower the other day uh, but this one does run and it it runs okay but it's really decent it's really clean down inside there um, but I'm just you know I'm gonna take two of these and build one um, I don't know which one I'm going to use yet let's see how well this one runs we're going to take the coil off of this one put on here try to start it and go from there but I'm gonna go ahead and take this outside blow it off with compressed air I'm not gonna bore you with that and um, we'll take the coil off the Black Hawk and put on there it should be the same thing I think and we'll see if we can't get it to fire okay guys I got this blown out a little bit uh, just to check and see if everything's going to be all right, first we gotta take this off of here. There's just three screws that, that hold this top on here, so that's all I'm taking off right now because I gotta get the spark plug wire to go up through there. This one. Man, it's used and abused, but uh, it feels like it's got better compression than the Black Hawk, which they are both, you know, pulling. See, that's what I've got to get to is the spark plug right there. I'm going to turn you this way. Hopefully, you can, you can see this. Now, this is your ground. That's your ground wire right there. And that's like a power wire, okay? Now, we're going to put this on here. Keep the magnets away. There's magnets on this flywheel right here. Okay. Put a screw on there. See, there's magnets there. So, keep your magnets away just for a second, all right? Now, we're going to go ahead and put this on here. It goes like this. There's adjustment on here. I'm going to show you here in just a second. That's why them holes are slotted. Okay. Alright. Now we're going to... Because we have to adjust this coil. So I'm going to pull it all the way back away from that flywheel. And there's a reason for that. And I'll show you that here in just a second. Let me get these started in here. Alright, they're just finger tight, just enough so this doesn't slide forward. Now, bring your magnets around. 
and you take a business card. I just so happen to have one of mine right here. Alright? And you take your business card, back you out a little bit, and you put it right in between here, right there, just like that. And we're going to loosen these two, two bolts, these two screws, actually, they're not really bolts. We're going to loosen these up and let that, and let the magnet pull this coil right up against it. Did you hear that? That click? See, that's the perfect, that's how you adjust these. Uh, you can use, I've used matchbooks before. They, that's kind of a little bit bigger gap than what you want. But a business card, something like that. You can take a cigarette, you know, a piece of your cigarette pack. You know, like this right here. Like that right there, that little flap. That would be perfect. I've actually used um, notebook paper folded over. Uh, let's see, I folded it over uh, three times, I think. Two to three times. Now you don't want to get these too tight. Whoops. Now, see, this one I forgot. I've got to put the ground on there or it won't run. Now I've already got gas mixed up and ready to go for this thing, so that'll be our next deal. We're going to put gas in it and then we'll take it out and see if it'll fire up. Okay, see that ground has to be on there because see this, this coil is mounted in plastic. Well, it can't make a circuit if it's grounded in plastic. It'll just be like you shut the switch off. So... Now don't go real super tight because you can strip these out. But make sure they are snug. Sorry, can't see nothing but my hand. And then spin that cord out of there. Make sure nothing's hitting and you should be good. Feels good. I probably shouldn't do this, but here, we gotta plug this in. And I'm going to stick this in here, and I'm going to give that a spin and see if it's got spark. Well, it's got some good compression to it. So anyway, can't spin it fast enough. Alright, now we're going to take, take the coil wire. Let me back out a little bit. I'm going to take the coil wire, put it on a spark plug. Just like that. Oh, that plug's loose. Just so happen to have a plug wrench right here. I love that little ratchet. Stands out. It's got a quarter inch on this side. Three eighths on that side. So that's pretty cool. Alright, now we're going to put this on, just like that. Now right here, these, I don't know if you can see that, these wires have to go right down in there like that. And then that goes like that, and this little clip goes on here to hold that. And that keeps everything from rubbing on the flywheel, just like that. Alright, now we're going to put the top back on, and the side cover back on. If you notice before, this was missing the primer bulb part. I just happened to have one, so I just replaced it. So that way you know I'm not screwing with you guys. I'm going to put this on. Let me see which way it goes. It's like this. Make sure your wires aren't in your way. There we go. Give that a pull, and it'll pop right on there. So I'm going to put these four screws in, and the three screws back in this. We'll put some gas in. We'll take it outside and see if it'll start. All right, guys. 
We got her filled up with gasoline. Uh, I thought I was filming it, but I wasn't. So, anyway, at least you're going to get to see if this thing will start or not. See, it's got fuel in the primer bulb there. Can you see that? All right. Choke. Switch is on. Give it some throttle. Let's see what happens. Sounds like carburetor may need a little adjusting, but uh, it runs. So, I'm going to keep one of these. I don't know which one. The one I'm going to keep, I'll put a new, uh, I'll put a new uh, coil on it, but sounds pretty good. adjust the carb a little bit but I think I think it's a pretty good running engine Another one for you. Now you know how to change the coil on one of these and how to adjust the coil. Uh, nothing to it. That oil you see there, it's uh, that's for the chain. So, and since we don't have the barn chain on it, that's why it's spitting that oil out of there. So, uh, sounds good. Sounds real good. So, I think that's one I gave ten dollars for. So. Yeah, I gave 10 for that one, 15 for the Black Hawk, and I think they wanted 40 or 50 for the brand new one. I got it for 35, so, and I know the Black Hawk runs too. It doesn't have as much pep as this. It could need a carburetor adjustment too, but it takes one of them little special little screwdriver deals, a little nut driver, and I stripped mine out working on the weed eater, so, but I think with the, uh, with an adjustment on that carb, I think it'll be all right. But this, this sounds real good, real peppy, so.
guys there you have it still needs a little tweaking on the carburetor and uh, the chain sharpen but if I decide to keep that one I got almost a brand new chain in there on the Blackhawk so uh, there you go that's how you change a coil uh, started up pretty good I don't know how long it's been sent I've had it for what a year and uh, so, I don't know why somebody would pull, pull the coil off of it. Maybe because it wasn't running quite right and they don't know how to adjust that carb because it's got those little plastic covers on them, on the adjusting screws on the needle valves. You can only turn them so far. But what I'll probably do on that one is, uh, well, drain the gas, I'll mix it to 40 to 1. Because I mixed it a little heavy because I didn't know anything about it. And I'll switch the gas over to 40 to 1. And I'll pop them little plastic things off. Adjust them where I want it, where I want it to be. And then pop them back on. So and then I'll still have a little bit of adjustment after that. So it runs pretty good, guys. Thanks for watching. Whew. This kind of stuff wears me out. Uh, Shea Bear 1000. I'm gone for now. Oh, yeah. It didn't want to start and I couldn't figure out why. I had to switch off and then it kept wanting to stall out on me I'm like what's going on I didn't have the choke all the way open so <laughs> all right guys see traffic never fails all right guys I'm gonna go for now thanks for watching Shea barely met the man of legend I'm gone for now bye bye guys hope this helps